The Rumor Report. Guys, guys. With Angela, Angela Yee. It's The Rumor Report. The, the Breakfast, Breakfast Club. Club. Well, Cardi B, finally, 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 after all kinds of speculation and people saying that they thought she was pregnant and people saying maybe she's not, has said that she is pregnant. Now, she went on Saturday Night Live and let it out. Check it out. You did it! Oh, God. I'm finally free. <laughs> We'll drop on the clues bombs for Cardi B. If you got revolt, you probably could see it because it wasn't nothing you could hear. Like she just only heard screaming, "I'm finally free." Oh, that was the end. That was after that, the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that was after the she show. She just performed. Yeah, and I'm yeah. happy for her, man. I mean, Cardi B. I seen her struggle. I seen her grind, and she seems super duper happy. Offset seems happy, so I'm happy for we them. We all watch her come from the bottom. I, I do like how uh, they they revealed it on SNL though, because they didn't say anything. The right. camera just stayed on her face for a while and just pulled out. It was dope and revealed that body bump. <laughs> so congrats it's to good. I'm, and she really isn't like her face. You know how sometimes people get pregnant and you can see it like in their face and you can see it, but you couldn't really see it in her face. So people were having a lot of back and forth. Like maybe she's not. Her outfits were really hiding her baby baby bump. So oh, it was God. a big reveal. So now she's not, not. Was she doing this for her album now? Like, no, I'm no. saying a lot of times people. Oh, you're talking about before she yeah. revealed it. Oh, okay, okay. Before gotcha, she gotcha. said she was pregnant. You know, people usually sometimes you can see like their face gets bigger. Sometimes, yeah. She she, didn't, her face didn't get any bigger. So it was a lot of like, oh, maybe she's not pregnant. She shows small. My my wife did the same. It was very small. Nobody. Well, she either. stayed in the Bronx for a month during this pregnancy. You going? It's going to show. Now, oh. Offset posted, <laughs> Cardi and I look forward to our next chapter together. And he put up a picture of the two of them. And, um, you know, a lot of people were wondering, well, what was the big secret about? Well, Cardi B said that, you know, she, it's too much drama. She said, this is why I did not want to say nothing. People be so thirsty to scrutinize and try to destroy something that is supposed to be a blessing. Because a lot go. of people wait in. But she's happy. He's happy. So we're happy for them. And it's not everybody's business. But, I mean, you know, it's one of those things that you got to reveal because you can't hide it throughout the whole nope. term. Especially if you're going to be out here doing shows and stuff like that. She's dropping babies and albums. So congratulations. Is she still going to do Coachella? Um, yeah, she is doing Coachella okay. this weekend coming up. So Dope. all of that is still going down. Congrats to Body. I wonder if Beyonce going to bring her up. That would be dope if Beyonce and Cardi reveal a record together this weekend. All right. Now, Kenya Moore is expecting her first child. Kenya Moore from Real Housewives of Atlanta. Really? Yes. Oh, she's 57, right? She's 47. She's about 47, 48. All right. So she revealed this while she was on Watch What Happens Live. on Well, on the uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion part one. Now, don't judge me. I was watching this last night. Don't judge me. My wife likes this. What do you think? Terrible weekend to reveal that you're having a baby. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, right behind Terrible weekend. (laughs) Hers didn't seem 100%. Like well, let's, pl- let's play the audio in case you didn't see it. Any word of a baby twirl? Well, he or she wouldn't be named twirl for sure. That's my dog's name. But right. Yes. We will definitely be welcoming a boy or girl oh. in late this year. All right. So, yeah, she doesn't want to say how far along she is. She's yet. very early. You could tell She's by, by that She's still very nervous, yeah. she said. So she wants to make sure she gets into a safe place. Mm-hmm. I mean, that is a scary time, you it know, is. for women, whenever they feel like they want to come out and say what's going on. Especially when you're 47. Oh, my goodness. First trimester is <laughs> first, job, first child. Uh, the first it's trimester hard. is tough for anybody, though. It's but hard. especially when you're 47. We got see here. We go about to when, make up some excuses when you're for nothing. I'm not making up excuses, truth, yes. but it's up to anybody when they decide they want to say I guarantee you any doctor will tell you if you're 47, it's a little bit more difficult. Over the age of 40. Is yes, difficult. that's yeah, a it is. fact. It's the truth. I know, but in general, the first trimester is a rough trimester for anybody. It is. And, and especially Which is the it, truth. Yes, and way more rough when you're 47. All right, now Drake has also put out some new music over the weekend. Nice for what? And he put out his music video alongside uh, the new song, Issa Rae's in it, Letitia Wright, Yara Shahidi, a whole lot more people in that video. Check out a snippet of his new song, Nice for What? That's a real one in your reflection Without a follow, without a mention You really piping up on these you gotta be nice for what to these I understand You got a hundred bands You got a baby bands You got some bad friends High school pics You was even bad then You ain't stressing off no lover in the past tense You already had them Work at 8 a.m. Finish round five Call down, you don't see them outside Yeah, they don't really be the same offline I'm going to play the full version in the mix today. By the way, you can't even be sarcastic no more because I, I, on Friday night, I tweeted out, damn, Drake couldn't let Cardi B live a full 24 hours. He couldn't wait till midnight. This really became a topic of discussion. Like, I was serious. No. It's why social media needs sarcasm fun. But I will say uh, salute to Drake for that. Drake is dope. Uh, and and the, the, that was that video was a cheat code, by the way. If you take well, all, those, all those women in What? It? If you take all those women, especially those women of color, and put them in a video during this moment of Time's yeah. Up and Me Too and Women's Empowerment, yes. cheat code. I get. I bet you Chance the Rapper is sitting somewhere like, damn, he stole my idea. <laughs> God's plan was the same. 
Pan- we, we, you know what? Matter of fact, Drake, are you running for office or something? He's the, what, what, what's up with all this pandering you're doing, He's doing man? what he got to do. The next video I heard that he's uh, he's going to redo Whitney Houston. I believe the children are the future, and it's going to be all about kids. And he so stop it. Him. Stop <laughs> it. Stop, <laughs> it. stop <laughs> it. He's buying a school. That's what I heard. Right, so everybody <laughs> likes the song, though. Yes. He's buying, so he's buying a school in Chicago, from what I heard. Stop all right. It. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and this that guy. is your rumor report. The Breakfast Club. Every weekday morning, tune in.